Eric, good evening. Out here in Newark this afternoon, we've been looking at mostly sunny skies and we've had temperatures in the 20s throughout the afternoon. So it's not the weather here that's been causing these massive delays. At last check inside this airport, we are at 235 delays and rising. Something to definitely take account of and be aware of if you're traveling or even simply picking somebody up tonight. The blue skies over Terminal B at Newark Liberty are fairly quiet today, and that's because departure and arrival boards inside have been filled with delays and cancellations. To be exact, 235 delayed flights and 70 canceled. They told me I, they don't have anything until the 28th. On Christmas Eve, Nicole Jacobs attempted to fly to Des Moines, Iowa to see her parents for the holiday, but that flight was canceled. Today, same result, so she's heading back home and missing out on family this Christmas. So. My parents got three kids, one's still in South Africa, I'm here in New York, my sister is the only one who managed to make it, so I was like, you got one kid. The main reason for delays is a blizzard in Buffalo, which has shut down that city's airport, as well as weather out in the Midwest. That is causing problems for people at airports across the country, whether you're looking to fly to Phoenix, Tampa, or Chicago, or elsewhere. Travelers are spending some extended time inside of airport terminals today, getting a chance to catch an app or simply wait it out. One of those waiting is Ami Singh. He flew into Newark from India with the final destination of Indianapolis. He arrived six hours early. My flight is not delayed yet, but uh, we will see what happened because I've seen lots of flights getting delayed and uh, I hope for the best. A lot of people are having fingers crossed here at the airport tonight. At last check, by the way, that for that gentleman, his 615 flight to Indianapolis was still on time. When flights are canceled, people tell us they've been offered a few things. One, maybe you can fly on the 28th or even wait until the first of the new year to get you where you want to go. Or you're being offered a voucher, but not a refund. At Newark Liberty tonight, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.